Have you ever wondered how technology impacts our political landscape? Does it empower citizens or simply complicate matters? In the digital age, technology has become an integral part of our lives, so much so that it has permeated every facet of society, including politics. It's a tool that has the potential to reshape political campaigns, redefine voting processes, and revolutionize public engagement. Consider political campaigns, for instance. Not too long ago, these were primarily ground games, where door knocking, town hall meetings, and televised debates were the norm. But today, technology has transformed this sphere completely. Social media platforms, data analytics, and targeted advertising have become key elements in winning hearts and minds. They enable politicians to reach wider audiences, tailor their messages to individual voters, and engage with them on a personal level. And then there's the voting process. Traditional voting methods, while reliable, can be time-consuming and inconvenient. But technology offers solutions that can make voting more accessible and efficient. Online voting, for example, could potentially increase voter turnout by making the process more convenient. Similarly, blockchain technology holds promise for making voting systems more secure and transparent, thereby enhancing trust in electoral outcomes. Public engagement, too, has been revolutionized by technology. Gone are the days when citizens had to wait for town hall meetings or public consultations to voice their opinions. Today, digital platforms offer a space for continuous dialogue between politicians and the public. They allow citizens to express their views, ask questions, and even contribute to policymaking, thereby fostering a more participatory democracy. But as much as technology has the potential to empower, it can also complicate matters. Issues like misinformation, privacy breaches, and digital exclusion can undermine the very benefits that technology brings. As we navigate this digital political landscape, it's essential that we address these challenges, ensuring that technology is used responsibly and inclusively. Now let's delve into a case study that illustrates the power of civic tech in a political process. Consider the story of Taiwan's V Taiwan project, a shining example of civic tech in action. This project, launched in 2014, epitomizes how technology can be harnessed to foster democratic engagement and propel positive change. At the heart of the V-Taiwan project is a unique approach to democracy, one that leverages the power of the internet to involve citizens directly in policymaking. By using online platforms, the project facilitates open discussions among citizens, government officials, and experts. These virtual town hall meetings provide a space for everyone to share their views, deliberate on issues, and collectively shape the policies that govern their lives. One of the project's most notable achievements is its work on the regulation of Uber. When this ride-sharing giant entered Taiwan, it sparked a heated debate. Traditional taxi drivers felt threatened, while many citizens embraced the convenience Uber brought. To resolve this, the V Taiwan project stepped in and launched an online discussion. Thousands of citizens, taxi drivers, and Uber representatives participated, each sharing their perspectives. The result? A policy that balanced the interests of all parties. Uber was allowed to operate, but under strict regulations that protected the livelihoods of taxi drivers. But V Taiwan's success doesn't stop there. Another commendable instance was its work on online alcohol sales. The Taiwanese government was considering a total ban due to concerns about underage drinking. However, through V Taiwan, the public was able to voice their thoughts. Many pointed out that a total ban would hurt small businesses and suggested alternative solutions, such as stricter age verification. The government listened, and instead of a blanket ban, they implemented regulations that addressed the issue without stifling commerce. These stories illustrate the power and potential of civic tech. They show how it can facilitate dialogue, bridge divides, and create policies that reflect public sentiment. But more than that, they underscore the importance of citizen engagement. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about the technology, it's about the people using it. It's about ordinary individuals stepping up, getting involved, and making their voices heard. The V Taiwan Project is a testament to what can be achieved when citizens take an active role in governance. It shows that when given the right tools and opportunities, people can shape the laws that govern their lives. They can influence decisions that affect their communities. They can make a difference. In the hands of engaged citizens, civic tech can indeed make a significant impact. But what does this mean for us? It means that we too can play a part in shaping our societies. It means that with civic tech, 
we can turn the tide of politics, making it more inclusive, more democratic, and more reflective of our collective will. So, let's embrace civic tech and harness its potential for the greater good. This case study shows us that civic tech can empower citizens in the political process. Now, let's delve further into the potential of civic tech. At its core, civic tech is like a bridge, a bridge that connects citizens and governments. It's a bridge that's built on the pillars of transparency, engagement, and democracy. Transparency, the first pillar of this bridge, is all about offering citizens a clear view into the workings of their government. With civic tech, no longer are the wheels of bureaucracy hidden behind closed doors. Think about it. A world where every citizen can see how their tax dollars are being spent, where they can access public records with just a few clicks. That's the power of civic tech. It's like a torchlight shining on the dark corners of government processes. The second pillar, engagement, is about fostering active participation. Civic tech isn't just a one-way street where governments send out information. It's a two-way dialogue. It's a platform where citizens can voice their opinions, share their ideas, and contribute to decision-making processes. It's like a town hall meeting, but on a much larger scale and without geographical limitations. The third pillar, democracy. Well, that's the bedrock of the whole structure. Civic tech promotes democracy by ensuring every voice is heard. It's like a megaphone for the people. It amplifies the voices of citizens, making sure that everyone, regardless of their location, age, or socioeconomic status, can take part in the democratic process. It's about leveling the playing field, making sure that everyone has a seat at the table. The potential of civic tech is enormous. It's a game changer, a disruptor. It's transforming the way we interact with our governments, the way we participate in political processes, the way we exercise our democratic rights. But like any tool, the efficacy of civic tech depends on how we use it. As we look to the future, we can only expect the role of civic tech to grow. Imagine a world where we have seamless access to our government and public services, where our voices as citizens are not just heard, but actively sought. That's the promise of civic tech. It's an exciting time for this field as we continue to explore its potential. We predict a future where civic tech becomes a staple in our political processes. For instance, blockchain technology could revolutionize voting systems, making them more secure and transparent. Artificial intelligence could help in analyzing public opinion on a massive scale, ensuring every voice is accounted for. Imagine a future where policy decisions are data-driven, based on the collective intelligence of the populace. But as with any new technology, challenges lie ahead. We must ensure that this technology is inclusive and accessible to all, not just the tech savvy. We must also address privacy and security concerns. As we increase our reliance on digital platforms, we must equally strengthen our defenses against cyber threats. Another challenge is the digital divide. While we are rapidly digitizing our world, many communities still lack access to basic internet services. This could potentially lead to a new form of inequality, the digital divide. Civic tech, therefore, must also focus on bridging this gap, ensuring that everyone, irrespective of their socioeconomic status, has an equal opportunity to participate in the digital democracy. The future of civic tech also depends on collaboration. Governments, tech companies, and citizens must work together to drive this change. Each has a crucial role to play. Governments to create the regulatory environment, tech companies to innovate, and citizens to engage. The potential for civic tech to reshape our political landscape is immense, but it requires a collective effort to realize this potential. It's not just about creating new technology, it's about creating a new culture of civic engagement where technology empowers every citizen. It's clear that civic tech has the potential to reshape our political landscape for the better, but only if we choose to harness it. So, what have we learned about civic tech and its empowering role for citizens in political processes? We've discovered that technology can be a powerful tool in politics, helping to bridge the gap between citizens and their governments. It fosters transparency, enables participation, and ultimately strengthens democracy. We've seen civic tech in action, in the inspiring example of the V Taiwan project. This innovative platform has facilitated a vibrant and inclusive conversation on public issues, allowing citizens to contribute to the decision-making process in an unprecedented way. We've also looked into the future of civic tech, which holds immense potential. As technology continues to evolve, so too will the ways it can be utilized to empower citizens in political processes. And finally, 
we've reaffirmed that the power of civic tech lies in our hands. It offers us the opportunity to reshape politics, to make it more inclusive, more participatory, and more democratic. Technology in the form of civic tech truly has the power to democratize politics. It's up to us to use it wisely.